Welcome back, everybody. I am so excited about this next segment. From hospital scrubs to the national stage. Imagine showcasing your talent in front of millions and getting four, count them, four yeses from the judges on America's Got Talent. Well, that's exactly what happened to Houston contestant Christina Wells. She is a local nurse with loads of personality and talent, and she recently stopped by for a chat. There's a light in the darkness, though the night is black as my skin. Wow, that is right. She sings, she dances, and she saves lives. She is a triple threat. Christina Wells. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And we just met, um, but I, of course, knew who you were because I saw you on the show. Yay! So tell us a little <laughs> bit about what has the reaction been? Because you're a hometown girl. I am a hometown and girl. And I know people are so excited about it. They this. are so excited. Even just coming here today, <laughs> like people stop me and they're so excited and they some people start to cry and they have stories to tell me about insecurities and fears and doubts and that I make them feel like they can do it. And I'm just so filled with happiness because of the reaction of the people, you know? Because I want to share my voice, but even more than that, I want to share the attitude that anyone can do it. Yeah. And so the fact that my presence on that stage says that to so many people, it just makes it even better than anything uh, that I could have imagined. Great. I think that is so cool. It's amazing. Okay, so tell us, when did you first audition? Um, I first auditioned in the spring. So, okay. you know, TV is oftentimes done in the past. Yeah. And so... <laughs> it's not always live. It's folks. not always live, people. It's not always how it works. <laughs> so, yeah, it was... It, my first audition was in the spring. And so I've been having to sit on this egg for a couple of, couple of periods of time now. <laughs> you have to, like, keep yeah, it zipped. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Zip it. Zip it. Oh, that's tough. That's literally, a tough secret. I literally, I'm, one day I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in L.A. and I'm singing for my life. And the next day I'm at work. And I'm like, hi, I'm Christine. I'll be your nurse today. Like, literally wow. just like that. Yeah. And also, you have a full-time job at home. Yeah. Single mom, two yeah. boys. Put her there. Hey. I was raised by a single Were mom. Were you really? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, you know, I've always resented the stigma that my family received because, oh, single oh, mom, you, broken yeah. home. Like, you know, broken home, yes. Yeah. Like, it's less than. Exactly. I know. But you I know. have, I mean, that's another barrier that you it had to overcome, right? It is a barrier. It can right? be a barrier. It can be a barrier, for sure. Um, for me, I, my mom ra was raised me as a single mother, and she always made us feel that we were complete. We weren't missing a piece. And so I've very much taken that into my motherhood yeah. and let my boys know we're complete. Totally. Yeah, we're a complete My family. mom always said, she's like, we don't have a broken part, the, no. like broken home, the yeah. broken part left. He's out of there. We'll just right? keep that. It's we'll good, keep huh? that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so good. true. So, so in addition to being a mom and going to work and saving lives, I mean, what is next for you in the next chapter of your life? I want to sing for this city of Houston. I that's what I that's what all this is about. Like I'm a Houston girl. I'm not going anywhere. Like I I want to sing here in this city. This is the second largest city for theater seats. Houston is the yeah. fourth largest city in the United States. Yeah. There are so many music opportunities, and there are so many amazing performers and musicians right here. And and I want to be out there and I want to work with them and I want to sing in this city. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Let me ask you though, because obviously people now know uh, who you are because of America's Got Talent, but you in high school, I mean, y you said you've had this gift your entire life yeah. and you were voted best, best performer best performer in high school. Yeah. So was this, I mean, did you ever consider doing this as a career? I did. When I was young, I did very much so. And that's a part of the story that I share is that when I was young, I wanted to be a singer. And I was like, I'm going to be a singer. And when I was about 19, I really went and tried. And in the 90s, when I was 19, because, yes, I'm 42 years old. Um, <laughs> Shut the front I am door. all those 42 years, honey, head to toe. So when I was young, it was very much about skinny. And so everyone just kept giving me the message that I was just too big. And I was smaller than I am now, but it was just like, we don't really want, like, the full set woman. And I feel that Adele... Kiala Settle and This Is Me and The Greatest Showman, they're changing the landscape of music and where you can see a woman with some meat on her bones and she opens her mouth and she belts it out and you're excited for it. You're like, okay, give it to me. Totally. So I feel like this year, that's what, that's why this had to happen. Everything in due time, right? Yeah, but it's I, it's overdue time, uh, in my opinion. Well, thank you. I because appreciate that. Because people come in all different shapes and sizes. Yes, we do. And it shouldn't matter what you look like. It's about your character oh. and your talent. I appreciate that, but I think it shows that 
that we watch for reality, it's difficult sometimes because you are looking at the person and you are trying yeah. to package them and, you know, to make a performer. And so I'm grateful that the eyes are open now to who I am past all of this deliciousness that you see on the outside. I love that. Okay, we got to talk about your band yes, and yes, also yes. you have a YouTube channel. I do. I have a YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel is Christina Wells. Um, and if you go to my YouTube channel, every Monday I do a show called The Christina and Allie Show. I have a ukulele player and my singing partner, my vocal coach. Her name's Allie Valines. She's fantastic. And we get together, we do ukulele mashups every Monday, New Music Monday, and then I have a band, the Christina Wells Band, where Allie and I join four other of our friends, and we have a six-person dance band, and we will we will play the night away for okay. you. Okay, that sounds really cool, a ukulele mashup. It is so Christina fun. Christina Wells, you are an inspiration. Oh. Thank you so much for stopping by. Next time, we're going to make you sing. I'm, I'm here for Deal? it. Deal? I'm here for it. Deal. All right. Thanks again. Thank you. And you guys stick around. There's much more Houston Life coming up right after this.